Yeah. Well, Mike, I learned a lot about uranium. Uh, I have a couple of questions. Uh, management seemed that the prospective rebound in uranium prices might last a while. In fact, they even said it could last decades, uh, given the push for green energy and so forth. I was just wondering, um, what are your thoughts about uranium pricing and does it look sustainable in terms of a recovery that could last many years, as management seems to think? Always hard to predict where prices are going to go, but I, I do think there's a good chance this could be much more sustainable than past peaks. And the reason I say that is because we've gone through an extended period of low prices now, and we're seeing that the exploration companies are not spending the money they need to explore. We've talked to several of these smaller explorer exploration companies, and they talk about needing a sustained period of in the $40 to $50 before they'll even start to do some drilling on properties. And once, and there's about a five to 10 year lag between when they start drilling and when it can reach production. So yes, this could very well be a long extended up cycle. And you uh, touched on this, uh, but the management team seems to uh, think that they are very responsive to react to the demand very quickly. And how do you believe this company is um, res responsive relative to its peers? Well, uh, the company touched on it a little bit, but uh, they have control of, of a process called in situ recovery, which is basically they bleed uh, chemicals down to recover. So we don't have to go through the lengthy uh, open mining or, or underground mining. And that just gets things up and quicker. Uh, but it does require more processing. And they have control of two of, uh, I believe he said, only seven uh, in situ processing plants. And those are in Texas and they're already permitted. So, you know, when they say they can get one of those plants up and running in uh, a year or two, uh, you know, I think they can. And uh, that's in stark contrast to what some other companies can do. And Mike, the management team here seems very knowledgeable. What are your thoughts about the ability of this management team to execute on this strategy? Well, they're very open about their uh, interest in aggregating uh, assets. Uh, and they've done it before. Uh, uh, Bill Sheriff uh, uh, put together a whole bunch of uh, uranium companies uh, back around uh, 2009, right when the, we had the last peak and sold it for $1.8 billion. Um, so he certainly got the uh, pedigree to put the to be the one that is the aggregator and, um, and the openness and the willingness to do it again this period. As I said, at the end, all we really need is for uranium prices to start going up. And Mike, when is the best time to actually invest in a uranium company? I mean, it, do you think it's six to 12 months in advance to seeing prices type, uh, you know, type start to rise or, or is it the market kind of react to when prices start to rise? What are, what are your thoughts about that? Well, that, that's a very good question. Obviously, it's, it's hard to predict when uh, uranium prices uh, might rise, but as the management pointed out, we're going through a period where the utilities are not locking in contracts and the producers are not uh, willing to sell at these type of prices. So I have a feeling when prices start to rise, they will rise quickly. What we see in the stock prices is a very quick reaction. Any hint that pricing is going up and the, and the stocks do really well. So it's been a period of head fakes, head fakes, and eventually at one point it'll be a real rise in prices and the head fakes won't be head fakes, they will be long-term shooting up in stock price. So when I think it's good to not try and play the game of trying to time when things go up because they just move too quick. Too quick. Um, think about this as uh, we don't know when they're going to rise, but we expect them to rise within the next, by the next 12 to 24 months. And certainly it's time to get in those stocks before you see that. Thank you for joining us for this C-Suite interview presentation brought to you by Channel Check.